Raise your hands. Begin to minister to the Lord wherever you are. It's your opportunity to speak to God. And remember, prayer is a conjurement of fire. It's not a communication. Remember, but for, for formation. You are not giving God from information when you pray. It is your formation. Begin to pray now. Yes, Rataba, Rikato, Rekabo, Shaka, Shaka, Shiba, Katoya, Shaka, Sataya, Bahaya, Rebara, Shilakaria, Shako, Shiba, Taya, Bahaya, Rata, Riko, Rata, 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 Pray, 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 pray. Let the fire fall. You was all over the world. Pray. Pray with us now. In Jesus, my name we pray. There is an opportunity that whenever you are given a time to pray, it's an opportunity. The Bible says he makes us both to will and to do. That means the willingness to even pray, to feel like you want to pray. Even when the prophet feels like this is the time to pray. That is God confirming that when you pray, whatever you pray. That's why the general of God, Brother Branham would say, even if you ask for a pink elephant, it will drop. This moment... This opportunity. Remember, in every allotment of what? There is an assortment of possibilities. A conglomeration of opportunities. Based on the deliberations of spirits. In other words, whatever time we are given, demons are also watching that time. Trying to figure out what you do in the time God has given you to pray. If you lazy around and you play around in this hour. Listen. Listen, if you choose not to pray, it's like this. It's like someone who is at the battlefront saying, today I don't feel like shooting anything. The enemy will not stop shooting. So what do I do? Whether I like it or not, brother, Kenneth again used to say this, this way, start up in the flesh, it will wind up in the spirit. If you feel the force not to pray, it means somebody is forcing you not to pray. Begin to pray now. Conjure that fire now. Rekebe, <laughs> <laughs> 
Might name we pray. Some of you, this is the longest you have prayed. Psalm 5. Psalm 5, verse number 1. Peradigizumale. Are you still here? It's what? Season of what? Listen, God. Please pay attention. What kind of communication is this where you talk like this? Can you make sense of these ramblings? My groans, my cries. King God. Say King God. Viewers all over the world. King God. King God. I need your help. Every morning. Every morning. Every morning. You will hear me at it again. What will I be doing every morning? Here we go. Every morning, I lay out the pieces of my life on your altar and watch to see fire descend. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the reason why hell has fire. Because only fire can destroy demons. Only real fire can con torment demons. And he makes his angels winds. And his ministering entities flames of fire. Why? Brothers and sisters, you need to be in fire. Not just empowered, but in fire. When you carry fire, no one can argue with you when you carry fire. And the Bible says in the book of Ezekiel chapter number 28, I will consume you using the fire that is within you. That means God knows angels and demons are made of fire. So the only person who can control demons and angels is a person with fire. Control your fire. I said, Lord, fire. What does he say? I'm at it again doing now what? Some says, I lay out the pieces of my life. What is it? Is it a job? Lay it on the altar. Is it a relationship? Lay it on the altar. Is it financial difficulty? Lay it on the altar. And what happens? Fire will come. So what is prayer exactly? It says, before they pray, I will answer. While is they are yet speaking, I will hear. Before they even say a word, you will answer. While is we are even talking about it, he has already heard us. So why, why do we pray? What's the reason of praying if he already knows what we're going to say? It means God knows prayer is not a realization 
of from information you give him no prayer is a production engine for fire so anytime you pray you should you know listen anytime you pray when you mature in the spirit you'll be able to measure the amount of fire you created now, let me go this what should cause you to stand up from a prayer altar is knowing the, the request and the fire are no longer balancing the fire is now greater than my request so by fire and by power that request is burning that problem is going i wish i had people at the back there so i jump with you and just add a little bit of fire i've not even started but i want us to to pray now you know your prayer request eh? before the end of this service fire would have consumed it you know that problem fire would have consumed it fire Shout, give me fire or I die. Begin to pray now for fire. You see, you see the song you were singing along as Denzel was, was singing. That's prophetess who wrote it. Now, it's not coming because somebody is a leader. No. What kind of fire did you produce for you to hear the words? You were singing along. You thought it was somebody who wrote it. There are things, sir. There are things, ma'am, that when you understand things of the Spirit, you realize prayer is not just a, I pray, I pray. No. An ability to measure the amount of fire. So when you stand up like this, you know what you produce. What is in the granary of fire? <laughs> ah, there are fire silos. Where you keep fire like you keep grains you can count the amount of fire i wish i could show you something maybe not not this time but i'll show you in a few minutes are you hearing me are you hearing so we need to pray now pray now for that prayer request you have Push fire on that altar. Barata. If your neighbor is quiet, push them around. They are slowing your progress. Fire in this room. Fire in this room. If your neighbor is quiet, Barasaja, <laughs> Rico tela kaya ta, sehele ke tele dia ta, sotoro brako tela kaya, elu tele Christ ta kala dia ta, lili kaya ta ya ta, le ke tele ke tele, ziza bahaso, mori ko tele ke le dia ta, tele ko ta, tele ke, tele to na na dia ta, tele to ka kaya, shele ke tele dia ta, lili ka ta la dia ta, eri te ke te, tele ka ta la ka ta.
Listen, there is always an opportunity. When you're given an opportunity like this, don't waste it. In your house, you might not be able to recreate this atmosphere. But here there is a compound anointing. In other words, your brother is... Have you noticed? Have you noticed? When Pastor Benny Hinn, the great general of God, will be ministering, he will get people to sing. As they begin to sing, miracles happen everywhere. What is that? That's called a compound anointing. You are praying there. You are in the spirit there. You are moving there. You are moving kilometers there in the spirit. You are changing in the spirit. That one, take advantage of that. Right this minute. Fire on the altar. Fire. I can see the fire, 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 the fire on the old. I see fire consuming fire on the altar, fire. 
problem. How big is your problem? Begin to pray. Ah, you thought you came here to, to, to just say, Father, we produce it. La protosa palabados li pradia la varia no salamande li covaria sa protolaria sa mai pere su jano da kia da vali li prado sa dia da vala kutaya e che de vadia da vani azi jo monda la baia na kota le preno sa dia na manda kota e bala dia baia ma cora basa ne ma cora basa ne mentalia bada su baria da la sa ne li prado sa Are you getting this? There is a spirit in man. The Bible says that God gives them understanding. <laughs> when you get in the spirit, there are things that begin to change. I want to show you just a snippet. I want you to put my spiritual father's video there. I want you to see, when I say stop, you stop. Wait. There is a time where I say play. Put up there so that I explain and you see something. Just, do you see that? Do you see that? I, I'm afraid I don't want them to kidnap me. <laughs> Speed is a problem. Now hear this. I want you to understand that Pastor Chris has never been to Zimbabwe, in, had never been to this Zimbabwe this time. Doesn't understand anything he's actually saying in another language. But these are tongues. Listen to this. I, I'm afraid I don't want them to kidnap me. I heard that they are kidnapping people. I don't want them to kidnap you. Kidnap you. Kidnap you. Kidnap you. Kidnap you. Hey. Keep watching. Let hey, them carry you now. Let them carry you now. Hey, let hey. them carry you. Hallelujah. 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 Sit down there. Say, let's go. Hey. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Glory. Say, let's go. Say, let's go. Don't say, don't say, where don't are we say, going? Don't say, please. where are we no, going? No, don't ever beg. Say, let's go. Hey, hey. And they don't say, Rakon Dalabayele Momo Sakayele Momo Sakayele Momo That's Are enough. You? When I, when I sat down with him and said, you said this, you said, he said, I don't even know what you're talking about. In the realm of the spirit, 
<laughs> you can be given vocabulary to change your circumstance. Begin to pray in other tongues now. Pray, viewers all over the world, join us now. Join us now. Mountains are falling down. I Mountains are falling. Who oh, are you all mountain? Before the robot bow, you shall become a place. Mountains are dismantling. Chains are being broken. Warehouses, warehouses, satanic warehouses. We are entering in. Planter. Take over, take over, take over, take over, take over. in Jesus my name we pray is there any fire on your altar are you creating fire on your altar there are those maybe this is your first time coming here they say you heard the church is so exciting now we just start with prayer <laughs> you will realize in a few minutes when your text starts coming in you realize it you realize the text you realize it I said you get a wind of this thing now wherever you are standing now raise your hands I want you to do one thing that is good for you we are sons and daughters of the prophetic. That means we don't wait for somebody to tell us our name that we already know for us to be excited. No. We prophesy to ourselves. Don't wait for that. If you wait for your cousin to prophesy about you, you, let me tell you something. Let me tell you one truth you should never miss. People don't care about you. No, 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 no. If you have approval addiction, you will die. Everyone you want to say, oh, you did, you are so nice. Oh, look at your face. Oh, so beautiful. No. Do you know what happened in the book of Genesis? The Bible says, and God created this and created that. And God said, it is good. God himself, on his own, praised himself. Don't wait for somebody to praise you. Just wherever you go, you go, you did it, baby. You, you did it. You did it, man. You, you, you created this. You, you, you managed that one. Don't wait for somebody to give you the kudos. You do it for yourself. God said, and, and, and there was this. And God said, 
it is good. There was no point of reference, no competition, nothing to compare with. And God said, it is brilliant. The way I created this one, I like it. Your cousin doesn't like you. Your brother even doesn't like you. Your sister doesn't like you. The reason why your brother seems to like you or seems like he likes you is because you have the same blood. But they are competing with you. Ah. Your family was not given so that you can become affordable. God created family so that you, you learn the real world. In your family, there is a Judas. He will betray you. There is an Absalom who will embarrass you. There is a Peter who will deny you. You got to learn now what the world is all about. So your family is for a lesson. Ah, don't you know that in, in our families, we have other brothers who are listened to by the family more than you. When you arrive like this, they say, ah, we will not bury anyone until John arrives. You're like, but I'm the one who bought the coffin. They say, John. Meanwhile, John is nothing. And he just arrives and he causes problems everywhere. Even if it's a family party, he will cause problems for you. And everyone is afraid of him. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, your family, they don't like you. Your sister doesn't like you. <laughs> I... Ay, 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 So now the only thing you can do now is decree for yourself. Raise your hand, raise your right hand and say, I prophesy to myself. Now give yourself everything you need now. Give yourself now. By way of prophecy, give yourself. I said, grant yourself now. Patadiko mala. Semadu shekebe. Matuka para kia talaka seze. Ruzo <laughs> in Jesus might name we pray take your Bibles raise them up raise them up and say this is my Bible I do what it says I do I have what it says I have from this Bible Proceeds knowledge and understanding. I receive it today. The word of God is alive. It is active in my life. It is moving. I receive it today. From the mouth of God, we will proceed information, knowledge, wisdom for my success today, not tomorrow. The word of God is inerrant. There is no error in it. No contradiction. And it is sufficient in my life. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Please take your seats.
Love you more. Viewers all over the world, give me fire or I die. I wish I had people here. Who understand there is something that should actually come into your system. A hunger that cannot be released anywhere else. Just a hunger. Shabayas. The book of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter number 11. Mariga deklo oska bereta I want to start from somewhere then go somewhere. In fact, I'll just read all of it. Mm. Yeah, I'll read all of it. Now faith is the substance of things. Mm. The hypostasis. A stance you make while it's under. I knew you. I was. Please for now don't write notes. You miss what I'm about to release. I, I love the notes. But where we are going with the notes now. You just keep the notes. You write. I'll tell you time to write the notes. Somebody over here is about to be catapulted to higher degrees. And this is not a church where you just say, Amen and nothing gets into you. No. There is a transaction in the spirit where you are receiving La Tabaya. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Here it is. Now faith is the substance. The stance you make while it's under. The hypostasis. Of things hoped for. Notice in the real Bible, in the original Bible, the word now does not exist in this scripture. That means let's remove the word now. So we know if faith is still is. Let's read one, two, three. So it's still now. Okay, no, no problem. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Here we go. Pastor Patrick, come here. I told you before that if you are reading like this, that means faith is a system and an expiration debt. There was a time I was afraid to even teach spirit and bazarari, to really teach them. So I kept on preaching. But preaching encourages you. But after you leave this place, you will not do nothing. The same thing with hope. Hope is a goal setter. Faith is a goal getter. With the hope, you will die with a smile on your face. It will give you a smile while it's the Titanic is singing. I hope to be a millionaire. I hope to get married one day. You will continue hoping. Now hear this. Hear me, hear me well. So a lot of people think... Faith is just something you just get faith. Faith, I have faith. I trust in God. I have faith. How many people understand what I'm talking about? That, that, that you had faith and the thing did not take place. It's a lie. Because the Bible says faith is the victory. In other words, when you have faith, it will never fail. When you failed and you thought you had faith, it is presumption. You are never in faith. It is only in Christianity. Where faith is based on wisdom and knowledge. Listen to this. Jesus is for the intelligent people. All these religions is whatever you feel. If you feel you love God. If you feel you believe in him, you have faith. In Christianity, it says faith comes by hearing. Information. And information then develops the faith. So it's only for intelligent people. If you lack data, <laughs> I wish I could have so five people who can download spiritual data bring spiritual data into I have not started on I need fire but I need to start somewhere now hear this now so it says faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen so I'm with my son here Pastor Patrick and we are looking for dinosaur bones and we find them. This, my son, is a dinosaur bone. T-Rex, whatever Rex. Someone say Torex. 
Now, here we have the bones. When we are excited and we are calling all the other guys and say, we got the bones for the T-Rex. What do we have in our hands? Evidence. That means we have the faith for the dinosaur. They didn't get it. Because faith is the evidence of things we hope to see, but haven't caught yet. So the bones are the evidence of the dinosaur we have not seen. But the bones tell us the dinosaur exists. So, so if I have at least five dollars in my account, it is a sign that a million is somewhere. I know maybe you got that one correctly. Sit down, sit down, sit down, my brother. Now, so what we have now is the God, the Bible says, in the beginning. He is the beginning. Andy, the beginning, Andy. Uh, the Alpha, Andy. But in the realm of the Spirit, the Bible says, God who crucified Christ before the foundation of the world. So, 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 so when we get into the scripture, it's in the New Testament, he does it. But the Bible says he had already done it. So Alpha and Omega means the one who starts by the end before he starts the beginning. Let me, you're still not getting what I'm trying to say. So the mere fact that I'm now praying for a million dollars, it means he already created the million dollars and now he tells me. Now, you, if I'm praying for a marriage, he has already created the girl, the, the boyfriend, before I get there. You're getting it, you're getting it. So now we are here with our bones and all of a sudden we're here. All of a sudden, there is T-Rex in real form. What do you think we're going to do to this bone, son? We throw them away, right? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. What do we do now? We, go for the we run. Yes. <laughs> what do we do with the T-Rex? We're now running away, but the bones we did not run away from. Mm. So faith is an expiration debt. No, they didn't get it. Faith is important when you have not caught the reality. When you catch the reality, you now need faith to maintain the reality. No, 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 no. So there is a faith to acquire the thing and the faith to maintain the thing. No, they're not hearing. They're not hearing. So these bones are not necessary if the T-Rex is standing with us. If I have the one million, I don't need faith to get the one million. Here we go. The biggest problem with Christians now, and I have not started the preaching for today. The biggest problem for Christians today is this. We have, we beg for what we already own. Imagine sinners are not praying for money. They're in town here, millionaires. They don't know nothing about any scripture. No verse. Can't even speak in one tongue. They are all over the place. They own banks. I was standing here with Brother Dexter here. He took me to the Rothschild family. They are said to be worth 500 trillion. Sitting down like this, the man had no time to doubt my gift. He was trying to figure out how much is the gift going to give us. This is why I kept saying to you, doubt is the privilege of the poor. I said what? Doubt is the privilege of the poor. Now let's go. Let's go to another one now. Now faith is the what? The substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Mm. By faith, Alashina Make. By it, the elders obtained a good report. How many have gone to school? Where, you know, you know, you know, I was one of you. Where you come from school and your, your report says you are number 22. Ah, number 22. Ah, guys, 22. You know Misery Loves Company. When somebody next to you in the next city is saying, um, 
Uh, how, 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 what, what did you get? Say, I got, um, how did you get, what did you, you open your book like this, say, look, I got one. You say, don't worry, I have a zero myself. <laughs> what is it? It's misery loves company. We like to be miserable with others. In a few minutes, God will be seeing now. He's already seeing, but uh, he'll be seeing. Here we, here we, here. For by it, the elders obtained what? A good report. Uh, have you, that means there are angels marking your scores and giving you a good report. Let's go. Three. Now, I want you to notice here. Yeah, this is where English works. That's why we always say when people talk about spirit embers, they say, number one, you have to have a good suit. A good dress for you to join that church. There is no prerequisite. Anyone is welcome. Remember the days you used to come here wearing anyhow. Now look at you now. There is, there is a stage we put you in. There is a level. Now, through faith. Put a comma through faith. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. No, 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 no. We don't understand through faith. It's saying through faith, comma, we have this knowledge. That God created the world using faith. Oh. Uh, didn't go to school. I got my, my graduates are over here. Yeah. You, you see the graduates, you see the graduates. And through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed. We have an understanding. A knowledge, a synesis, a comprehension, a mindset that the worlds were created by God using faith. That means God himself used his own faith to create. Now hear this. So that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. This is not the message. I want to get here so that I can get to the message. Are you flowing? By which he obtained, now, now watch this, by faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. By which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of these gifts, and by it being dead, yet speaketh. Mm. Mm. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. What tell him more Notice here. What, how does it take a man to live 300 years to be able to be taken? That means it needs a preparation of 300 years to go to heaven using flesh. Will you be able to do it on your 40 years? The man lived for 300 years and God said now he can be taken. He can go to... <laughs> hear me, hear me now. Now, now. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Why are you not being taken? Do you please God? That's not the issue here. You'll get it in a few minutes. But without faith, uh -huh, without what? Without faith, it is what? Impossible. To please God. Without knowledge. Your problem is when you see faith. You are seeing some level of faith. I think I need this kind of faith. No. It is not so. It is knowledge. You want to increase in faith. You increase knowledge. You want to walk in the spirit. Walking in the spirit is walking in love. I know when, when preachers talk about walking in the spirit. You see some, some wind. Some mist. No. The Bible talks about walking in love. If you walk in love with your brother, your sister, your neighbor. You're walking in the spirit. That's simple. How many walk in the spirit here? Uh -huh, that's what I'm talking about. Are you getting this? By faith. One, two, three. Let's read. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe. Uh -huh, that he what? He was? That he what? He what? He is now. Now faith is. He is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. 
What does he do? What does he do? What does he do? He rewards. Somebody here. I have a... No, no, not you. Just here. I'm talking about just here. I have a strange feeling that somebody here is about to be released into higher dimensions. A strange feeling. I don't know about you, but I have a strange feeling. Hmm. He is a rewarder. What is he? A rewarder of fire starters. The ones who produce fire. He is a rewarder. Fire on that altar. I said fire on that altar. Fire on that altar. In the name of Jesus. Let's go. Sit down, sit down, sit down before you cram my style. By faith Noah, being warned of God, of things not seen yet, moved with fear, prepared an act to the saving of his house. Noah. Imagine in those days, no rain was coming from above. It was coming from beneath. I'm giving you structure now. Rain was coming from beneath. And yet, it's up here. I'll fix your issue. It's okay. You understand? When are you going to court? Um, on, on Thursday. Thursday. Yes. Here we go. Now. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, Papa. Thank you. So, so you understand. Yes, Papa. All right? Yes, Papa. This will be a middle-aged judge. You're hearing me now. Yes, Papa. If you look on this side, it'll be like some white hair coming out. Yes. Like this. <laughs> Let me tell you something. As you go, this is what you're going to do. I'm seeing a road here. Yes. There is a, a place called Swinburne Hotel. From Swinburne, I'm seeing Lobate Senior Secondary High yes, School. I know the place From I Lobate, I see Senior Works, Senior Clay Works. Ooh, On this side, I see Lobate High Court. Yes, That's where your case is. Latouche Bakakundea. This is Botswana I'm talking about now. Yes. Maria Soven Kaikalosh. Whosoever brought that case. Yes. Fire on the altar. Oh, yeah. Amen. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Because of time, because of time. I'm about to finish. We started way back, eh? So, yeah, yeah, we're about to close. Do you have houses? Jesus Christ. Prona Vilega Noma. Parese Bekos Kaberemen. Malatesco Venda Caraca. Isaiah 54, verse number 14. That's for you. In the Message Bible. Afflicted city, storm battered, and pitted. I'm about to build you, to rebuild you with stones of turquoise. I receive it. I receive it. Lay your foundations with sapphires. Construct your towers with rubies. Oh, yeah. Your gates with jewels. Now hear this. And all your walls with precious stones. Hear this. All your children will have God for their teacher. I receive it. What a mentor for your children. You will be built solid, grounded in righteousness, far from any trouble, nothing to fear. Far from terror, it won't even come close. Hear this. If anyone attacks you, don't for a moment think that it is me that I sent them. Yes, and if Lord. any should attack, nothing will come out of it. Yes, Lord. Then he says here, I create the blacksmith. The one who creates the weapon to fight you. 
says, I'm the one who creates him. Yes, Lord. And the one who fires up the fire forge, the furnace that will make the weapon. And makes a weapon designed to kill you. I also create the destroyer. Amen. Amen. In other words, your murderer has not been born yet. I no, you, you're not getting this now. Yes, I yes, said the Lord. one who is going to destroy you is not yet born. Yes, that goes for everyone Lord. here. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I know if you read it in the King James Version, it says no weapon formed against you. <laughs> it's not expressive. Here it is. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Thank you. I also create the destroyer. But no weapon that can hurt you has ever been created. Ah, imagine knowing that the thing that will kill me is not created yet. Every day. Who, who can kill you? I said, who can kill you? No one. That's why my father, Pastor Chris, said, kidnap you? Kidnap what? Kidnap you? Say, no, don't ever beg. When they say, I will kidnap you, say, let's go. Let's go. I, let's go. <laughs> if you notice in that video, you will see him talk. Then immediately he speaks Shona. Of the same way, that means, let's go. Hand it also. Let's go. Let's go. I want to show you something. No weapon that can hurt you has ever been forged. Any accuser, there it is your issue, yes, yes, who yes, takes yes. you to court shall be dismissed as a liar. I receive it! I receive it! I it doesn't matter you committed the crime. If they take you to court, they are the liars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Remember how Jesus did it? Remember how Jesus did it? The woman who was caught in the very act. The Bible is expressive. It says in the very act of adultery. In the very act. They were not suspecting. No. In the very act. They entered and found her there. In action. Pulled her. From under or top. Let's go. She stood there. Before Jesus. And Jesus said. Where are your accusers? Huh? Accuser? These are not accusers. These are people who saw me in the action. Why are they accusers? Because anyone you take to, you take to Jesus becomes an accuser. Even though they witnessed what you did, I talked to somebody here under the influence of my voice. Any court case by fire, by thunder. In the name of Jesus. I want to show you. Now hear me. I want to tell you a story about Reynard Bonge. Peleneka Kreska Dai. Now hear me. Hear me well. Reynard Bonge. Reynard Bonge is traveling. And he's coming from Germany. Are you still with me? He's coming from Germany. You remember Reynard Bonge? The man of fire? He was always talking about the fire evangelism. He's talking about fire evangelism. And he's coming from where? Germany. <laughs> are, you, are you here? As he's coming from Germany, he gets to Kimberley, South Africa. Are you still here? He gets to Kimberley, South Africa. He gets to the, to the club like this. To the, to the church. He gets to the church in Kimberley. How many know Kimberley, South Africa? How many know Kimberley, South Africa? And as he is in Kimberley, South Africa, he gets there. He is preaching in church and realizes everyone is old. Old people sitting in the pews. Not that there is any problem with an old person. But when an old person is sitting in the pews and the church is not that the future of the church is, is now cancelled. He finishes preaching, miracles happen and he says to the pastor, where are the youth? Father, send me fire or I die. He says, where are the youth? They said, 
get in the car. We want to show you where they are. He was driven to Kimberley. He gets to Kimberley. In South Africa, he gets to Kimberley. He gets to Kimberley and as he stands there in Kimberley, he sees a big sign with lights and it was written disco. Pam, 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 pam. Lights are going green, light, red, green. He gets in there. He says, I want to see the owner. The owner says, no, 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 no. Say, you can't see him. So, no, no, the, 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 the people say, you can't see the owner. I said, give me the owner. I want to talk to the owner. I said, Mr. Owner, I want to talk to, the, to these kids for five minutes only. The owner said, it's possible. We'll not do it. This is an evangelist from Germany. He sees a deficiency in the church. The youth is not there. The old dying are now there. Waiting to go and meet their maker. And yet the youth. Ah. And the youth is not there. Guess what he begins to do? He starts asking. Why do you want to see the youth? He says, I just need to see the youth. Five minutes. Give me five minutes. The man says, no, I'm not doing it. As he begins to leave. Reynard Bonga said, do you think that disco you provide for them is what they need for life? The men turned around and said, you know what? All this time, especially yesterday, I've been struggling to think, is this thing that I'm doing benefiting the youth? Says, I'm going to give you five minutes tomorrow. Not today. Tomorrow, on a Saturday, I'm giving you five minutes. He goes there five minutes. He grabs the mic. He tells them about a man who came down the stairways of heaven who is able to save anybody from anything and making a nobody a somebody to tell anybody and everybody about a somebody who can save everybody. As he finished, he said, I want those who want to receive Christ in the disco. Every one of them disco. A year later, he's driving in Kimberley. He's driving. The pastor said, let's go through past that disco. He got there and there is a cross. He enters. The youth are like, we got saved the same day. I need fire. Give me fire or I die. I said, Lord, give me fire. Uh, how many of you can say, give me this fire? I need I need just a few of you. John Wesley said, I need a hundred men with nothing to fear but sin. And I can change the world. Hundred men. Sweet me, Goldsworth said, I would rather have the Holy Ghost for ten minutes than to be given to own the world with the barbed wire around it. Said I choose the Holy Ghost for 10 minutes. Amen. Give me the world with a barbed wire around it, fence around it, and guards with guns. I will choose 10 minutes with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. What type of fire do you need? As a youth, what type of fire do you need? Sit down, sit down, sit down, because I, can, I don't want you to, to mess this thing up. No, notice here, notice here. Do you realize that the disciples of Jesus, my youth would understand that, the disciples of Jesus were between 13 to 16 years old. <laughs> Only Peter was married. Do you realize that when you read the book of, when you read the book of Acts and you realize Apostle Paul, when he started, he was 35. You see an old man. That's why Jesus kept on saying, little children, my little children, my little... That's why the disciples kept on saying, uh, we did not understand the parable. Now when we read it, we're like, what, what? What, what was difficult here? They were little boys. <laughs> I know you're not getting me at all. Remember, two of the disciples even wanted to positions in high places. Their mother is the one who came to ask for a favor. Why would you call a mother? If you were 40, your mother will not come. But if you were 16, 17, the mother will be like, oh, please, Jesus, put them in high positions when you come into your authority. 
The mother came to speak on their behalf. You are 33, my friend. You are old. You are 35. You have gone far. Catch this fire while it's you are young. I said, catch this fire while it's you are young. Shout, give me fire. Or I die. Some of you want to get married with no fire. You are a joke. This same woman you are marrying today has a baggage of demonic influences. This same man you are marrying today, his uncle has been sacrificing the whole family on the altar, including your, your husband-to-be. The day you say we, we are tying the knot, what knot are you tying? You are tying yourself into the demonic influences of his family. You need fire before marriage. You need fire. I said you need fire before marriage. Shout, give me fire. Or I die. You need fire. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by the beauty. Don't be fooled by his tall, his handsome. When he walks, you never understand. It's like a horse. Hey. That horse has got demons, demons following. Spirits and thrones following. I give you this as a prophetic word, young people. And viewers around the world. Soon. Within a few months and a few days. Very soon. A few years. The older generation of generals is going. Thrones are being vacated. Mantles are left untaken. Thrones, right now, thrones are becoming empty. Seats of power in the realm of the spirit are, are being vacated. Who will catch that mantle? Who will catch the mantle? Where is the, where is the Catherine Coleman of the day? Huh? Where is the Kenneth Hagin of today? Where is the Wigglesworth? Where is Alexander Dowie? Where is he now? Who is taking the mantle? Fire on the altar. Fire on that altar. Something is getting here right now. It's already there now. It's already there now. Somebody's catching it now. Somebody's catching it now. Fire on that altar now. Mantles have been left hanging. Now you say, man of God, I don't know where Alexander Dawes, but where is Elijah's one? What about Elisha? Do you know Elisha's unction? How do you get it? How do you get Elijah's unction? I know you have your own. But how do you load the unction of Elijah on it? You need fire. I said you need fire. He says, I, I, the one who is coming, I baptize with water. But the Jesus who is coming will baptize with what? With the Holy Ghost and... What we have in the church is the Holy Ghost part. We let the fire part. It is the same thing. It's the Holy Ghost that gives fire. But we let the fire. So we can speak in tongues. But can we burn someone? Sit down, sit down. I tell you of Babalola. I would have said you cannot do a conference in this meeting. In this location, you can't do a conference. These were people of high, high level, high level voodoo level, high level demonic action upon them. They said, you cannot do nothing here. Huh? You, can't, I can't, you mean I can't do it? He said, now, bring your best. He said, because the moon, the moon's position. It is our time where we celebrate our demonic entities. He said, no problem. You come to the same location, I go to the same location. Let's see 
who will live. He went there. He raised his hand and said, Father, yes, Datan and Korah were swallowed by the earth. Open the ground now and swallow these people. They were there doing their Jabawagi. Non entities, nothing. Moving around, speaking into the atmosphere, condensing and infecting the atmosphere. And the man from Nigeria, not from America, not from Europe, not a white man, a black man. Said, open as in the days of old. And the ground opened, swallowed three of them. One was a little bit big, was stuck on the hole and came out. And said, this one I save you to go run and tell others. To this day, the ground is there, showing signs that people were swallowed in. Not in India. Listen, Christianity started in Israel as a relationship. Went to Rome and became a religion. Went to America and Britain, they made it a business. Came to Africa, we made it spiritual. <laughs> Give me fire or I die. <laughs> Who is here? Who says, I just want fire? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care about meeting a man now. I care only about fire. I'm looking at you now. You think I'm ignoring you, but I'm looking at you. All I need is just fire. I said, all I need is just fire. Lord, if you can only give me fire, marriage will come later. You give me fire, money will come later. You give me fire, business will come later. You give me fire, friends will come later. Give me fire, authority will come later. Give me fire. 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 Sit down, sit down, sit down. I'm, I'm, I'm about to show you something. I'm about to show you something. I know, I know you're not getting it, but you'll get it in a few minutes. Are you about to get it or you're getting it in a few minutes? That's why the likes of Corbus van Ransbeck went around the world sniffing, licking even the pulpit of generals. He hears that this was Kathleen Kuhlman's pulpit. How hungry are you? <laughs> how hungry are you? I said, how hungry are you? How hungry are you? Most of you don't know this power. It was here at the HICC here. A family came. They brought one of their sons. They said, this one needs to be a man of God. I said, I'll pray for him. I said, but let him stay under the weight for some time so that he can go and start whatever he needs to say. He said, no, no, no. Now, please, man of God, just now, if you just lay and see dreams of you, I said, dream and fire are two different things. Is he able to sustain what I carry? They said, no, just give him. I laid my hands on the young man. Just grabbed my, like this. I said, Father, whatever I carry, let him carry. You know what happened? They were calling the prayer line, calling. We want to speak to prophet. What happened? The man is in hospital. It was as though he was, he, a, 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 a train, faith train hit him. I said, I told you, he cannot sustain what I carry. Every dose of fire know how to measure it now. I said, know how to measure it. Now, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Sir. Let me tell you something. Let me say it here for this. You, you just relax. Here. Food. Food is a burden in the spirit. No, they, they did not take it. Let me hear Sit down. Food is a distraction in the spirit. One egg in the spirit weighs thousands of tons in you. 
It is too heavy for your faith to carry you. One egg. One slice of bread in the spirit. One slice. You eat like this. Just eat. My friend, you want fire. Hide from the kitchen. Hide. Run away from bread. They don't get to me. Let me say. I don't care. It's butter. Run. Pick yourself. Pick yourself. Arrange yourself nicely. Close the door of the kitchen. Say, I'm not entering here. Hide from food. Every morning you eat like someone who is at a wedding party. In the realm of the spirit, I kid you not, one slice of bread is worth kilograms. Your faith that you have there cannot even carry you. Now you ate the million kgs. By one slice. Men of the spirit run away from food. Food is a burden. I said food is an obstacle. Food is an impediment. I'm talking to myself. Let's come here. I had one of my sons in Britain. He was big like this from Nigeria. He would come in with a ball of Cyrillac. In the name of Jesus. In the middle of a service. He will mix it nicely. In the flask with hot water. And hot milk sometimes. What is happening? He was called Brother Destiny. He was, right, he was watching now. You see? Eating every time. Eating every time. What is happening? So he joined my ushering team. Big men like this. He said, Daddy, hmm, Daddy, if anyone attacks you, I will fly like Superman. <laughs> you will fly like Superman, you. In the spirit, you can't fly. In the flesh, you can't fly. Listen to this. Food is a problem. Spirits don't like food. <laughs> I said spirits don't like food. Even when the children of Israel were given the food of angels, they said, no, 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 no. We need protein. Give us meat. They tested it once and realized this is not food for people. This one, you will not survive. They knew what it was. It was a pacifier. You like fire? Hide. Go. Cover yourself in a room somewhere. Away from it. She can tell you, when we say it's fasting, we lock the doors of the of anything. The pantry is locked. The kitchen is locked. The tap water, we disconnect it from the real source. Even if the, the demons try to control you, you enter the kitchen, nothing will be working. Some of you, you wake up around 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Rosh Hashanah, we are fasting. You open the refrigerator like this. You see one drumstick. Now it's a battle of faith, a fight of faith. That drumstick is looking very, very nice. Oh, look at it. Crispy. Nice. KFC and Nando's mixed together. It's like KFC and Nando's had a child. One drumstick and the general of God fighting. That's when you start going like this. Looking around to see if If someone is watching now, then all of a sudden, it's 3 a.m. It's not like fasting. See? One will lead to two, three, until you're now chopping the bones now. But in the realm of the spirit, kgs 
They've been added. Now when you want that thing in the morning, your body can't carry you now. Your body can't carry you. Viewers all over the world, hide from food. Run away from food. I said, viewers, run away from food. If you're watching me now, run away from food. You want fire? Run away from food. You want fire? There is a separation you need to have. Fire is a distinguisher. I said fire. Fire. Let's go to the book of Psalm. Psalm chapter number 5. La taguch kebereta. Prazo komayaka. Eza tuni malate krakate yano manzeta. Fano maria dagiseas. Pasono hukote. Pasono hukote. One, two, three. Notice here. It says, I lay down the pieces of my own, the pieces of my life. Is it food you like? Do you think the Red Sea just parted for the sake of parting? No. There was a man who had hid himself. What you see when we come here and HIV disappears, cancer is gone, blindness is gone. What you think? You think it is because of some power. No, there are minutes and hours where we went away from the people. What do you like the most? Can you cut it out of your life? What do you like the most? What is the thing you think this is? This one is my addiction. Can you cut it from you? God is not after money. When he says give an offering, he knows the money is the thing you don't want to give him the most. God is only after the thing you don't want to give him the most. If you give him money, you will not demand it later. If you don't give him time, he will say, I need your time here. So you think, some of you think God is after your money. He says, I own a kettle on a thousand hills. You did not read the whole verse and the whole chapter. He says, if I were hungry, I will not tell you. You will not be informed when God is hungry. He knows where to get food. He's not interested in your money. He's not interested. He's only interested in the thing you don't want to give him the most. Some of you are sitting right there. Say, God, I just want a job. What have you also said I don't want? Who works for who here? I said, who works for who here? Are you, are you getting this? Patrick, get my book there. No, no, no. Don't get my book. Be given a pen by mom. No, 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 no. Go to brother Dave there. Do you see why he's listening? Because he's my son, he listens. Now, this is what you do with God. Say, God, give me a car. Give me a house. Every morning, there is nothing God is getting from you. Your name is give me, give me, give me, give me. You're... Is he working for you or you are working for him? That's why church is full today. Next week, church is full to capacity with overflows. Next week, no small number. What has happened? Because in the minds of people, we go to church to collect. That's where we get our miracles. No, this is an opportunity. Right now as I'm talking to you, some fool is on WhatsApp. This is why I like, this is why I like Olukoya. He said this. Olukoya would look in the spirit and see you like this. He said, someone over there, you are not saying amen. But the thing is under your bed now in your house. It's under your bed. It has entered your bed now. <laughs> so the thing is under my bed. All I need to say is amen. Ah, uh, yeah. Shout amen, somebody. Amen. Let your amen thunder like fire. <laughs> hmm. 
Listen to this. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. One time, my man of God, Pastor Chris, was in there was like a shootout, so to speak, where he would hear this Mercedes, the top class Mercedes, way back when he was still kind of in his formative years. And the robbers had come, you know, in the streets, grabbed him, and they got in the car. They were taking the car. He looked around and realized everyone had scattered. You know, scattered. They'd gone. They left. They ran. Summarized the whole area. You know, when you make a, an area a summary, you're supposed to move 20 kilometers. You move five just by speed. He looked around. There's nothing. Ha! Everyone is gone. He doesn't know how God picked him from there and put him somewhere. Notice here. Just God rescued him from there. Not, not running from anyone. Just he was left alone there. The robbers there. They are taking the car. And in those days, they would take the car. They would take the car and then take the owner of the car, put him in the boot just in case the car will malfunction and they need help. And they didn't pick him. The Holy Ghost just rescued him from there. Notice, he says this of that incident. He says, that's when I lost desire for material things. No, 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 you're not hearing me. You're not hearing me. When, when there is no more desire, for material things. Not that you don't need it. You need it, but if something destroys them, you don't cry, shout at everyone, lose your senses, and beat up everyone, and cut relations based on material stuff. One of our persons here in town there, he was driving uh, the bus, and then it was bent. He was so... He didn't bend the bus. It was opposite and party supporters. You, you saw the bus that was burning during the... That was my bus. So he, he comes, he's like, uh, he's trying to get to you. I said, yeah, what's happening? He's on the phone. Like, Dad, I'm sorry, what happened? What, what, what happened? Just say it. Uh, the bus got burned. I said, that's all? Bus is iron, it's metal. Don't worry about it. He put the phone down and he was so shocked. Like, what? You mean it doesn't matter a bus? It's gone? That, that's it? That's all you're going to say? Yeah. Way back. Before I was completely born again. There was going to be fire. But another type of fire. You're not hearing me. I'll talk to these ones. But it's no longer anything. Remember the days when someone would give you a car and you would not sleep? Or the day you bought a car, the day you got a car, a few of you, the, boy, the day you bought a car, you slept next to it like this. I was asking brother, brother Craig Bourne. I said, Craig Bourne? I was, you always said, Craig Bourne, where did you sleep the day you bought this car? I said, of course, inside the car. <laughs> said, inside it. Just playing music inside it. <laughs> you wake up early in the morning, 2 a.m. to just check through, peep through the window to see, is it still there? It doesn't matter, it's a Peugeot, Mazda. That's on one twin where you check it. Is someone stealing it? No. There is something you need. You are checking it. But there is a level you get to. One day you saw something very important. Pain shot through him. And he did everything as a healing minister. He did everything you could do to do any, to, to remove that pain. And he was at one of the most luxurious cars outside his door, his gate. One man of God came. Remember, he's in pain. And he can't tell the guy I'm in pain. He's already done everything he could do spiritually. As the man was taking, was, was getting out, he said, Brother, that car you see there is now yours. The man of God said, no, 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 no. Pastor Chris, you mean this? This is heavy now. So take it. As he got to the gate, the pain shot and left him. Notice, he didn't get it. <laughs> what was it that prevented the pain from coming out? The pain, he had the car in it. 
the car and the pain were connected. What is it that you're holding, that is holding? Um, you see, you are lost now. You're concentrating on giving. No. Is it the club? Is it the pub? Is it a, a party? Is it your friend? Is it a boyfriend? Is it a girlfriend? Remember what Paul says. He says, deliver me from the people. In other words, some of you are not possessed by demons. Amen. You are possessed by human beings. Amen. That if that boy phones right now while you are in church, uh -huh. it doesn't matter God is talking. No, you have to reply now. If you don't reply, this marriage will be gone. You are possessed by people. I deliver you from human beings now. Some of you don't need deliverance from demons. Just human beings. Let me show you something I'm about to leave. Mm. Are you here? Are you here? Are you here? La sabara tekebe le malaha shekebe. 24. Hebrews 11 verse 24. I want to show you something. I, I, Elijah said, if you see me before I go, if you see me, fire requires focus. It requires focus. How much do you need it? The problem is not the destiny. It's not too far. Destiny is not too far. No, 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 no. hear me. I said destiny is not too far. What is difficult is to leave your present for the destiny. Let me tell you something. Me, me, me. I don't know about you. I want to give you a testimony now. The one that, true testimony. I've been going to the gym for the last two years. No, threatening. <laughs> no, they didn't get it. Let me try them. Let me try. I've been threatening to go to the gym for the last two years. I'll go next week. I'll go next week. I'll go Monday. I start. <laughs> last week I did some some, they say, planks. I did two, three, four planks. I said, why suffer? I'm a prophet. What is, what's this? What's the problem? Why am I suffering here? What is the pain for? <laughs> I don't have a verse where Moses went to for a gym. I started looking for scriptures to support me. Jesus himself, I did not see him in a gym. What do I suffer? Ten press-ups. Did Jesus do five? Get lost. Do you understand? So, so imagine, imagine my health is not as important to me. To the point I can ignore the thing that gives me my health. Because the way to get there is too difficult. It's a regime that needs a lot of discipline to go to your destiny. Because imagine... Maybe you people don't know. I have heard this thing that money does not give joy. You don't know where to shop. <laughs> you are playing around you. You, you, are, you are joking. I remember I walked. I walked from here. I got to Qatar. I got out there and I'm moving like this with our team. My wife here. We got into Louis Vuitton. I felt peace. I said, God, what, a, what has been happening to me all these weeks? Give me a seat. I'll sit here. I don't need to buy nothing. I'll just sit here. Money doesn't pay, buy you happiness. Where are you shopping? <laughs> don't be listening to that. Just tell the person who tells you that, please, let me prove it for myself. Yes, Money. The Bible does not say prayer answers all things. No. Money answereth all things. I, uh, hear me well. What is it that will take you from where you are to that location? Do you realize right now all you need is to research the problems in your society? Research those problems and you research those problems. 
then you encode yourself. You download data from heaven on how to fix problems. Or you study on how to fix those problems. You will be something else. Hear me. Are you hearing this? Number three. Always be careful about people who destroy destinies. The destroyers of destinies are not the ones who give you bad ideas. It is those who give you small good ideas. They are the most dangerous ones. Bad ideas you can take from afar. You go like, uh-uh, that's a bad idea. Good ideas, small ones. <laughs> I was speaking on Thursday. I know you missed that. I was speaking on Thursday. Prophetess came here wearing off-white. And as she left home, I said, baby, don't wear this thing. She said, do you think? I said, no, 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 no. no. You have to have a lesson with your children on what off-white is. This is important. They will think something is wrong here. She said, sure, should I leave it? Uh, then I, I said, no, 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 no. Take it. I wanted to laugh. I said, <laughs> I said it's brilliant. Just go. She came here she stood there is preaching, and there is this thing dangling here. Oh, you should watch the comment section. Prophetess, you left a price tag. That's the design. <laughs> Only the people there. That's off white. It does that. That's a design. It's not a price tag. You see the small good ideas? They will destroy you. Don't say, this one gives me good ideas. No, those are the most dangerous ones. They give you ideas, yet they themselves have not attained their destiny. A bad idea, you can say, this is bad. So the opposite can be true. But a good idea, you won't know the opposite. How old are you, young man? Huh? 25. Why did you come here? Uh, I come alone. No. Why did you come? I come because I, I know that today is my day. Today is your day? Yes. How many times have you been here? Uh, since last year. Since last year? Yes. There is something God has called you to do. I receive it. Sir. <laughs> Professor. There is something God has called him to do. Oh, yes. Professor. Because I saw an egg. Yes. And it was as though it was about to hatch. Yes. And God said, now I'm about to open him up. Yes. Professor, I receive it. I receive it. But even as you think now, yes. you are thinking business and this and this. God says, I have a pulpit for you. Ah. I receive it. I receive it. Even your dreams have confirmed it. Yes, that's very true. I, I dreamed. I, because, I dreamed, because I, I dreamed you give. Baleno, shake na moho. Glenview one, yeah. Glenview one. Yes, Glenview one. Glenview one. Glenview one. Yes, 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 Yes, connect with Pastor Patrick immediately. Immediately, right now. So I can continue with what I'm doing now. In the realm of the spirit, something is moving. I said something is moving. Ah. How are we able to do this? I was very young. Just a small boy like this. And my cry at a young age was nothing than to be just a young boy. But my mother now had had about, what, nine children, not nine children, seven. Two were miscarriages, not miscarriages in the sense of abortion, miscarriages, two. Until the doctor said, don't have eight children and don't have any more children, that's enough. These two show you that there is a problem. And she was now pregnant with a child called Evangelist Lee. So Evangelist Lee is a name that means limit. Meaning to say, this is our end. 
We're not going to have another child ever again. And they did everything medically possible to remove and to cut the process and the womb so that it doesn't produce nothing. My mother took that to prayer. Went behind the house and knelt down and said, God, if among all my children, eight children that I've had, you have not raised the prophet. Give me one prophet. Though it's medically impossible, do it. But if I have a prophet among these eight, it's okay. Remember, medically impossible. Everything done. My mother was a nurse dealing with the same direction. All right? Of making sure those who say they don't want to give birth, they won't give birth. She's behind that house. Guess back. Five foot tall. But mountains, big and small, crumpled when she prayed. Are you getting this? So the burden I carry is a result of a five foot old woman, five foot tall woman who decided to pray a prayer before she knew it, she was pregnant. Impossible medically. My big brother, the one I come after, is called Limit. We have entered. His name is Lee on the, on the passport, but it's, it actually means this is the end of it. We are not giving another child. And I came out. When destiny is calling, your prayer begins to change. It shifts. I speak to somebody here. You gotta push. Don't worry what they say. You push. I come from Mashingo, Zaka, Zimbabwe African Killers Association. Where they say nothing good comes out of it. Listen, come here, young man. Where they say nothing good comes out of Zimbabwe. Nothing good comes out of Zaka. Nothing good. They undermine what we carry. <laughs> Listen. Listen. We are following as we speak the footprints of generals in this country. What do you know? What are you talking about? Have you seen them? I speak of Bishop Mujari. Just in blue way, you're there. A funeral was here. There was a funeral here. And rain started falling down in torrents. He said, wait here. He went with the team there. He said, Father, in the name of Jesus, I do not ask you to stop the rain. Please let it continue. But just put a perimeter here where the funeral is, no rain. People are sitting there and seeing raindrops around them like this. Men of fire. But if you ask you to pray, would you dare? I got to the London branch and it was raining and the pastors came with umbrellas. I said, I'm not coming out. You let me arrive when the rain is falling. Pray for the rain to stop now. Tell it to stop. And, uh, well, prophet, it's, it's not, you are not, we are not the same level with you. I said, no, the water level is your level. Little. You know when people start smiling, when you tell them to pray, you know nothing is coming out of it. We sent a whole prayer team to the prayer mountain. They, a whole prayer team, they stayed there. As they prayed, grass, grass. Uh, you know, I, I'm not messing up English, but I want to say this in English and telling you what happened as if I'm speaking in grass to the no, I know, I know I just said something here. I know you are now correcting my English, but let me tell you something. A man came out as if he was grass. The grass formed a humanoid form and stood. And the prayer team began to pray in tongues. No, they ran up a tree. The whole prayer team. And yet we are sleeping in our housing, relying on them to do something for us. Yet they are at the prayer mountain, running away from... Okay, this is a, they said, they said it was like five, five meters tall, five meters. 
Which tree would you go up to? Which, which tree? You, five meter tall angelic being stands up and you think the best solution here. He will just grab you like this and say, come down, come down. <laughs> there is fire. What fire can you create? I said, what fire can you create? What fire are you able to create? Lord, give me fire or I die. I said, give me fire or I die. John Knox of blessed memory is the one who is credited with saying, give me Scotland or I die. Do you know John Knox? The great general of Scotland. He said, give me Scotland or I die. And hear me, Mary, Mary, Queen Mary said this, son, Queen Mary said this of John Knox. He said, she said, I fear the armies. No, watch this. John Knox, hear this. How many, how many know John Knox? You know the Knox version of the Bible? Knox was so dangerous that the, the, in the region of Europe, they say this, that politics and the events of the world and the events of Europe were guided and divided between politics and religious views all because of John Knox. To the extent that John Knox stood up and said, give me Scotland or I die. Telling God, give me Scotland or I die. Hear me well. And Queen Mary said, I fear the prayers of John Knox more than the armies of Europe combined. <laughs> who fears your prayer? I said, who fears your prayer? That little prayer you do, who fears it? That powerless one you do, who fears it? Your own family will laugh at you while you are kneeling down to pray. They will laugh at you. My father used to laugh at my own prayers. He would come and hear me pray. He was like, ah, this guy. Early in the morning, I wake up. Pray. My father will be listening. One day, he grabbed me. That day, I heard the, the, the innocent. Hear me well. Hear me well. And the merciful voice of the devil speaking through him. You know, when the devil feels sorry for you, he said, my son, hmm. This God you are praying to, this God thing, you don't need to be serious like this. Say, the way you are praying, it's like God is in your pocket, like he's your buddy, he's like your friend. No, you don't do that with God. I say, wow. He said, every time you wake up, God is like a king. He pointed to the boundary of the fence. He said, you see that fence there? That's where God is. You wake up and say, how are you, God? <laughs> now, the God I was reading about was not a God who was too far. He said, now, after that, God goes. You go into your room. You do your thing. In the evening, you come again. You say, God, from afar. <laughs> say, when I hear you pray, you even salivate. You go, kind of God is this? See, they don't understand you. It didn't take weeks, months. The man came in town there. The day is Moses Chunga was in there. Some ministers were in there. Some business people were in there. And he came in there thinking, eh, just go and see. He was, he had stayed the whole day with President Mugabe at the HICC there. He said, okay, let me just go and see what my son is doing. First time, he entered there. He's seeing ministers. He's seeing Moses Chunga, the, one of the greatest footballers. In fact, the greatest footballer Zimbabwe has ever produced. And, and, and he's in there. He's wondering what is happening here. These people are not stupid. When I grew up, he kept on saying, you know, this boy is good at guessing. Even if he wanted to measure this only one, he said, come, well. 
How many meters is this? I say 50 meters. I say, you, you'll be even telling people, you'll be so shocked. It will be 50 meters. Measure. You, I, I bet you. They say, yeah, he's very good at guessing. I would be able, as a young boy, to tell what you're cooking is not enough. So and so is coming. They say, well, how, how does he know this? My mother knew. Hear this. Hear this. Hear this. He got in there. He starts whispering to me. He says, these people. He said, people, these people just moving around. What is this? I said, these are demons manifesting. He said, ah, demons manifesting. I said, yeah. So I grabbed his hand like this. I grabbed his hand like this. He said, now, just touch whatever you want. Just go and touch them. So he, nobody knows who he is. He's moving around. He just touched somewhere like this. He was going to touch another person, but then he touched another person. Demons manifested. Ah, I saw speed like Superman. <laughs> he said, go and touch him. Go, 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 go. Prevent him from coming here. I said, hey, you are the one who touched him. <laughs> from there, he was a changed man. How are you changed? Most of you here. All you are here for, give me, if I get to prosper, if I get money, money is a result of fire. Do you know, let me give you this young people and all the old people here, and I'm about to finish, I'm about to close. If I give you one million today, and you have it in your hands, you are not a millionaire. No, they didn't get it, so let me try another. No, 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 no. If I had enough billion, right, a billion dollars here, all this place, every other building here with billions, we bring it to you and give you like this. You are not a billionaire. Because billionaire is a mindset. <laughs> you will lose that billion within five minutes. Right now, I know what you think. Men of God, if I just get one million, one million. I mean, I hear one million. Please close your eyes. I want you to imagine spending that one million, please. Now buy a house. Two cars now for your wife. And... Oh, it's gone. Now imagine you are able to spend it within two seconds, yet you don't have it. <laughs> you play around with this thing. If I can be a millionaire. Millionaire in million is a chicken feed. Chicken feed. By Tuesday it's gone. <laughs> you see here we brought evaluators when was it when was it again when brought evaluators here huh two weeks back about 14 days ago we brought evaluators here from the bank to just see what they would do for this whole complex and it was what 18 million US dollars they said if you want 18 million we'll be giving you again as this building to you if you don't have money, you look around, you look around, you go like, mm, uh, my bill is 100,000. <laughs> you have no idea what money is. 18 million. And that's the replacement value. It means they can give us 17 million alone against this building. But now watch this. 18 million US, not kwacha. <laughs> or runs. Now, but they, they give you a replacement value that we have valued it and we realize that if you want to build another one like this, it will cost you 18 million. We have the certificate now. Now imagine if we just drop you here and you go measure, measure, measure. Mm. Mm. Yeah, 200,000. I remember moving with, with Dr. Philip Chiangwa coming out here. He stood there and he looked around, looked around, looked around, looked around. Do you know he went to the dot, to the actual amount we had used? To the dollar. Do you understand? Why? He is in the business for it. So he could understand the millions we had used. I'm not kidding you. I'm not talking about he was off a hundred thousand. No, he went to the dot. Nobody told him. He looked around, he moved around, he moved around. We had not even gone to the, to the back there. He said, I know the money you use right now. So this is the money. The real one. It's people who know destiny. Who are able to tell you the sacrifices we have made.
to get to where we want to get to. We, we have sacrificed a lot. Do you know this Michael Jackson? Why do you think he was playing with kids? And of course, our Caucasian brothers and sisters hated it. How can he be the king of pop? When, when this other guy, the other guy, Elvis Presley is not. So they started accusing him that he was sleeping with these kids. They don't know sacrifice. He sacrificed his, his, his age group for rehearsals. Now when he grew up, he was now trying to catch up with the age group he left. He did not enjoy. So he needed to awaken the kid in him so he could go back to what he sacrificed. Some of you, you can't sacrifice and you are enjoying everything. They're not getting me. You are enjoying every piece of your life. Aye, chopping it. <laughs> what can we do to raise you to that level where you can get to and say, I'm not longer wasting time. Turn to your neighbor and say, if you play now, you will pay later. If you play now, you will pay later. If you pay now, you will play later. You don't know what God is giving you. I said, you don't know what God is giving you. You don't know what God is giving you. I said, you don't know what God is giving you. Why do we need mentors? Why are we looking for Pastor Chris? Why are we reconnecting? Why are we recalibrating? Amen. Are we not able to prophesy? Oh, we've been prophesying. Are we trying to fill up stadiums? We've been filling up stadiums. So why are we looking for mentors? Why do we go to a person and say, this is my mentor? Why? Do you think Pastor Chris is sitting with me for hours and hours and hours and hours? Very few times. His message is my compass. That's all I'm doing. Because I've seen what I want to achieve. And I saw it in him. You are too relaxed for what you need. You are too relaxed. Be crazy about what you need. Don't be stopped by nobody. Be crazy. What can you do for what you love? What can you do for what you really want to get? I always ask this question. What sacrifice can you give if I want to make you prosper today as I want to make you a millionaire? What can you give? I can give everything. Can you kill for me? Uh, <laughs> you know, because it's a crime. Uh -uh. No one is going to ask you to kill anyone. But we need to try and figure out how far can you go for a million dollars? How far can you go to be the next general? My brother who passed on, all right, was our eldest brother, the eldest brother in our family. Way back I was young. When he went home to be with God, I knelt down before God and said, I want to see my brother. And when he was coming there, the Lord gave me a statement. He said, this man could have been a general spoken when others are spoken. And he gave me the names of the generals that he was going to be in the same class. Never saw it. He was chasing after beer holes. He knew the taste of every kind of beer. I know you are not going to say amen. That's why you came here. You said you want fire. I'm here to give you fire. Every beer hole you know. Every center of enjoyment you know. You are the minister of entertainment. <laughs> this girlfriend who says he loves, she loves you. Are you sure? I said, are you sure?
Have you gotten into a Instagram? Have you checked the TikTok? What about Snapchat? Uh huh. You are busy. You are in. Legs, body, mind is in for this boy. One day, only one day, that's when you realize I wasted my time on this bozo. There is no idea, there is nothing. My sister, go hide. Run away from this boyfriend. My brother, run away from this girlfriend. Hide. Your destiny is more precious than what she can provide. Your destiny is more precious than what he can provide. Hide. Run. I don't know if you are getting this. I see someone here. I said, I see someone here. I see someone here. My lad to share. Young brother with the yellow thing. Goddess. Now, is it yellow? Is it gold? What is it? It's gold. Yeah, it's yellow. Thank you. It's there, just where you are. It's all right. There's no, there's no prophecy. I see now. We have a Easter coming in, right? Yeah. This Friday, eh? Uh uh. In the balcony there, I don't see you in saying anything. Are you saying something in the balcony there? Let me see you in the balcony there, that side. Are we not that side? <laughs> Raise your hand over there. Are you ready? You are ready? Yeah. Are you ready this side? Les gens ne m'ont fretté à bon d'aller à craquer les gangs graffités sur eux. Fire! 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 Open your eyes, you!
I saw. Come, young man. There is going to be a wind. Come. Do you have your phone here? Yes, sir. Take, take the photo of your, your girl, your, your lady. There is a grace that shall be granted here. Thank you so much, Prophet. A grace. Thank you, Baba. Thank okay. you. Thank you. So Thank from you now, much. avoid arguments. Thank you so much. Thank you. There is a grace. Thank you. I receive. That is going to be provided. I receive. I receive. Where I, ca I went that side, and there was a man there said, open my eyes. And this is your prayer. Yes, prophet. To open your eyes. Yes, I always sing you. Maleno again. But there is a movement that God has given you as a custodian for. Thank you, prophet. Thank you. Right now, you need to sit under the word, the pure word. Because Thank there is a teaching dimension to what God has called you to become. Thank you, thank you. That you now need to learn to release. Very true. You... Even to come here, you came because of an instruction. Yes, yes hmm? very true. After this is a dream. You came to me, then you said, first uh, 50 days. And I, the paid the last year, this week. Friday. You finished this week? Yes. And what did I say? You said, I, I want to see you at Hippodrome next time. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Let me, let me explain to you something. Sometimes I just look at you like this. And I need to switch off. There's no, there's no, God, please tell me the information of this person. No. I just need to flip my eyes to you. Most people, when angels come, they think angels disappeared. Oh, I just saw light and it disappeared. No, it did not disappear. You disappeared from the light. It's your eyes that turn back to you. The Bible talks about the great apostle when he was coming out of jail. The Bible says, and the doors opened on their own accord and they walked through the doors. And the Bible says, when he got home, he thought it was a vision. And then when he got to his house and the door was there, the Bible says, and he came back to himself and he knocked on the door. All the doors were opening on their own except his own house. He then came back to himself. And the door failed to open. But notice here what happens. It says, and the lady ran before opening the door and said, Hey, the apostle is by the door. And the church said, We will not open the door. Let's continue praying. It is not him, it is his angel. So that means, according to the early church, they knew your angel looks like you. Maybe you didn't hear what I just said. Oh, what does my angel look like? You. <laughs> I saw, you know that platinum mine? You know platinum mine? Yes. Eh? yes. Platinum mine. Yes. It's like you're going to Noton, like uh, this area. Then you go to Chengeta, Chengeta, that area, Chengeta there. I saw, as I passed there, in that surrounding, I saw there was an inclination that was coming from there. Something connected to an umbilical cord. Listen, raise your hand. Very true. Is your father alive? Yes, he's Where alive. Where is he now? He's in Zimplast. That's what I just mentioned. Yes. Very true. Very correct. Huh? You're correct. 100%. More than 100%. I agree with you. Flesh and blood has not taught that unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. Let me tell you something. <laughs> now, if I want to try and run away from my calling, I can't. There is a fire that a five-foot woman injected into me. <laughs> One of the pastors 
where they are buried is just a few meters from the, from the homestead in, way back in Masingo. And one of the pastors would go with my mother to pray in the same direction where they are, the resting places of their remains are. And when he got there, he just decided, let me just go and pray in the same location we were praying. That's like we're talking about five meters away from the location. She got to, he got to that place, knelt down. One minute, two minutes in prayer. Light at 2 a.m. engulfed the whole place. The men shook. You've not seen anything. <laughs> you are too accustomed to ghosts like the disciples. The disciples saw Jesus walk on water. They said it is a ghost. They didn't run. They said it's a ghost. Don't worry. It's not him. You are too accustomed to failure. Too accustomed to mediocrity. Too accustomed to the things that actually hinder your progress. Pastor Chris once said to me, that son, why is it that people believe in the most painful part of the Bible, which is hell, more than prosperity? Every Christian is agreed on this one point. Hell exists. Prosperity, no, we fight. No, 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 you should not be rich. But hell, it's okay, it's there. We like the most painful part. But how far would you go to be a man of the spirit? How far would you go to hide from this entertainment? I would be on TV, just watching TV like this. Movie after movie after movie. And then do what? Then leave. What have you gained? You can get too accustomed to watching movies. You start praying for the actors. Please, I pray for Denzel Washington in Equalize 4. Equalizer 4. <laughs> what can you do? I said, what can you do? How hungry are you for your miracle? I was in um, where Brother Dexter started attending the ministry in Birmingham. It was a cold room. I'm ministering there. And a lady, a, a man is standing in the, bal in, in the balcony. And I said, you brother there with a child with Down syndrome, rush now. Ah, the guy went like this. And then a Nigerian. That's why I love Nigerians. If they are fake, they're going to be 100% fake. They're not going in the middle. If they're 100%, you get 100%. Ah, some cultures, they are like that, but I'm just talking about what I know, okay? So I know you will blame me and all that. Do I look like I care? If they are generals of God, you will not find, they will be 100%. They will do crazy stuff. Was I not talking about Uma Opa here? They said you can't go to another place to minister. He had nothing. No, he didn't know the language. They said they are Arabs, they're Muslims. They will ask you a question in Arab, you have to answer in Arab. If you don't answer in Arab, you will die there before you cross to go and preach where you need to preach. He said, take me there, God. <laughs> you, that's where you turn. He said, God, God they said we should not preach there. I heard the spirit clearly. <laughs> he turned around, said, God, take me there. He got to that location. They are standing there with guns. He said, You want where are you going? They ask him in the no known language. Then they came to the point where they now ask you in Arab now. They start asking Arab. He just today said, the Bible says, when you get to that location, do not worry what you shall say. For the spirit will give you what you shall say in that day. He didn't look for reasons, sir. He didn't look for reasons. No, he did not look for reasons. He said, I'm not looking for reasons. He did not say, I'm going to look for reasons and speak them in English. No, he spoke in tongues. They say, ha -ru -ha -ru -ha. he said, ha -ru -ha -ha. they said, you answered correctly in Arab. He spoke Arab in tongues without knowing it. They said, go, 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 go. Ah. 
Play Pastor Chris again so that you, you, you get it. There are people who are watching here. Play it. I'm afraid. I don't want them to kidnap me. Oh. I heard that they are kidnapping people. I don't want them to kidnap you. I'm afraid. I don't want them to kidnap me. Oh. Kidnap you. Kidnapping people. I don't want them to kidnap you. Hey. Kidnap you. Let them carry you now. Hey. Hey. Let them carry you Hallelujah. now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Sit Hallelujah! Sit down there! Say, let's go! Hey! Ay, 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 ay! Glory! Say, let's go! Don't say, don't say, where are we going, please? No! Don't ever beg! Say, let's go! Hey, hey. As they're going to say, Momo I can play a whole lot. He said, Let's go. And they just, Let's go. Yes. No idea that it was Shona. I'm the one who told him, This is Shona. This is an old video. Way, way years back. God knew one man was going to listen to it. Listen. I tell you this. There is a thing called shutting yourself out of the events. Remove yourself from your friends. Remove yourself for one week. You realize that they never liked you. Most of these friends you think like you. They like you as long as you are lower than them. Just become better than them. You will hear that your friend was talking against you two weeks ago. Ah, my friend is a lie. Yeah, they were talking about the story you told them. You know, ah, ah, this is the story I told her. What has happened to your friend? She never liked you. you your level, you, your friend liking you is a sign for your level. Your lover was too low. So they appreciated you, anticipated you, tolerated you, but they don't like you. Nobody likes you. Just have a few amounts, you realize they don't like you. There are people who like me not because I'm a prophet. I can tell when I move around here, you can see someone going like, Men of God, please, men of God, please, please pay my rent. All this anointing from this. You know, God made me tall because he wanted more places to anoint. All the anointing upon my life, what you saw is money for rent. That's why I ignore some people. So why can't he just give this, pay fees for this one? I paid for 10,000 right now. People I don't even know. I don't even meet them after I pay the school fees. You see, when people are giving testimonies, they, I even get shocked like, hey, we paid your school fees. Hey, I graduated now, man of God. Ha! Ah, when? All the food we gave during the during, uh, COVID era, we started by 3 million. We ended up on 5 million US dollars. The school fees is more than 10 million dollars now. Now just imagine, I don't know the people. They don't even have a chance to come and say thank you, sir. Never. Some people when we were moving there, one time we were fencing that location there, and, uh, and with this guy smoking, real, real smoke, the other smoke. So when they are, this guy is drunk. He said, hey, ah, oh, prophet, my cousin graduated. I said, your cousin? So I said, you paid school fees. You, you, you are the man. I said, I know, but look at this. We, he knew what we did. But hear this. Hear this. Hear this. That's an action of giving. But imagine a person can meet you in the crowd there and say, I, I just need a car, man of God. Just buy me a car. You're thinking, less. So the first thing you saw on me was a car. But when a person has cancer, they will see healing. When a person is diabetes, they will see healing. When a person is having a hard time, they see their salvation and their deliverance. It's only people that don't know what they should need that demand for material things. 
One day, one day as you sit here, you will be the giver. One day, on your feet, everybody. On your feet. On your feet. Raise your hands wherever you are. Just begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. That fire, shout to God and say, Fire, I need fire or I die. Bala. Fire. Fire. Fire! 
Jesus. On your feet, everybody. Because of time, on your feet, on your feet, everybody. Father, in the name of Jesus, viewers all over the world, viewers all over the world, I decree and declare by the authority of the Spirit, right this minute, let increase be upon their lives right now. Success to begin to take place. By the power of the Almighty God, be raised to higher levels. Be raised to higher levels. Increase in every way. Your finances are taking a new shape. Your finances are taking a new shape. You are now increasing in every way. We are catapulted to higher levels. You are delivering spiritual data. When they say prices are going up, tell them we also went up. Hmm. In the name of Jesus, I speak for your offering. Viewers all over the world, I speak for your offering. In this moment right now, I speak for your offering. It will not deplete. Wherever you have taken it from, increase is coming to it. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak a blessing that has never been spoken to anything you give. Let the Mimshak anointing be on this selectively on this offering. The anointing to increase. The anointing to expand your business. The anointing to do anything you want to do. The anointing to move your ministry to higher degrees. Let it be on this offering in Jesus' mighty name. Drop your offering here. Thank you so very much for those around the world. The accounts are on your screens. We can do that. Just bring it here. Bring it here. It is in moments like this where things will be changing for somebody. Let changes take place. Great changes. A shift in the spirit. Mantles are being changed. I said mantles are being given now. Mantles are being delivered. Allow people to come this side, guys. A lot of things are happening as people give their movements. Allow people to give, allow people to move all this way, all this way.
tithe has come. And as in, we still have these that are giving right now. Allow them to come here so that tithers will just congregate around here. Clap hands for the tithers as they come. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the voice of an archangel, we decree and declare right now that these are first fruits of the people that have understood it here in Arare branch. I pray for a special favor that you speak to them directly. You speak to them specifically. You speak to them specially. Encounter them and they encounter you specifically. I speak in the name of Jesus that every barrier that they've been experiencing by a token of their tithe, even those around the world who are tithing right this minute, let the same favor flow. Let there be no barrier in this thing. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Drop it here. Drop it here. Clapping for yourself and give a shout of praise unto the Lord. Yes. Prophet, a lot is happening. A lot is happening. There is fire on the altar, Prophet. Last year, October, the man of God, my brother came to service for service and he attended a meeting and mom prophesied to him. Mom prophesied to him and said that there is grace for properties on you. And when mom said there's great for, grace for properties on him, he had nothing to do with properties and no desire to get into that business. And he was just thinking, how? How come and why is she saying that? And she said that, he's saying that I had a desire to go to America. That was his prayer uh, request. Then he told mom that, mom, what I want is not finances or these properties. I want to go to America. Then mom declared then and then and said, you are going, actually she prophesied because she said that you are going to America. You are going to America. Man of God, from that day, prophet, he went to the embassy and when he went to apply, he is saying that he did an interview for less than one minute for his visa to America. Less than one minute. And everyone... You are not hearing me. I think I'm hearing what you're not hearing. <laughs> If you can't celebrate somebody else's success, your honor will be so difficult. Prophet, prophet, the interview lasted for less than a minute. And there were people that are working there that were ready to console him and to get him to understand that if you lose the visa, it happens, you can come some other time. 
So in less than a minute, he's coming out of the office and he's telling them that I have my visa and the visa happened to, he received it the next day. The visa was already there. The visa was already, just like that. Just like that. I don't prophet, know about you in this room. Prophet, prophet, not only that. Viewers prophet, all over the world, receive right this minute. Receive whatever you desire now. Let your amen be better than your neighbor's amen. Prophet. Yes. It is not enough, prophet. He was thinking the word just went. He went to Cape Town. So he just went to Cape Town and doing whatever he was doing. He is telling me that I bumped into a business to do with properties and I realized that the prophetic word came to pass after, after the business deal was already done. He had forgotten. Wow. wow. You don't even know how it happened. It, you are it next in him. line. You are first in line for a miracle. You are first in line. I see somebody here. On this side here, you are first in line. It doesn't matter what they think, you are first in line. Prophet, a lot is Praise happening. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Prophet, a lot is happening. Mama here had encounters with you in a dream. Several encounters where you were saving their life, the family and everyone that is connected to him, to her. Then prophet, one day, she was just, he was just sitting on the couch and there was a lightning that hit the house and the man was sitting, I think we've got pictures, we've got pictures. He was sitting on the couch and everything that was there close to him was bent by the lightning and he survived, he did not have any scratch, nothing happened, he was protected, he was, what a mighty God we serve. We have got pictures. Let's see. Oh, okay. Let's continue. They, they take their time. They take their time, sir. Mm. But there is another one, sir. There is another one. Great things are happening, sir. Great things are happening. There is a unique testimony, uh, man of God. January, you declared over here and say everything, every channel shall produce for you. You declared, you prophesied that it's going to happen in the month of January. And she got into a taxi after receiving a prophetic word from you. When she got into a taxi, people were talking about land. She had a desire for land. And she had people talking about, we can get you land, we can get this one land. And she got into the conversation. Prophet, the man that was talking, said, I can give you land for free. Good land, easy, easy like that. She could not believe this. She could not believe this. That when the man invited him here to go and see the land, she refused. Because prophet, this was 40 hectares. This was 40 hectares. So she refused. She uh, said, the, no, the way, no, the way it you can are, never especially happen. Especially this side here. May God give, grant you the force to have land. Hush. Even when Jesus comes back, he will land on Mount Zion. What do you know what that means? That means even God likes real estate. I celebrate you. Yes, sir. Just like that. You was all over the world. Receive real estate by the token of this lady. Getting it, you are getting it. Mm -hmm. Prophet, just like that, she's saying that Friday she signed the documents and she was given all the paperwork. Now she has got her 40 hectares just like that. Just like that. What a mighty God we say! Prophet, yes. healing is easy, prophet. Healing is easy in this location. My sister here had an eye problem that she was wearing glasses for 15 years. She was wearing glasses for 15 years and she had never lived without those glasses because it was just a problem after a problem with her eyes. And she came for church and what happened, prophet? You did not locate her directly. You talked to her neighbor about her eye problem. You talked to someone about her eye problem. But she understood that this is an atmosphere. Ah, She said this is an atmosphere. When you talked to her neighbor, she took the prophetic word of her neighbor and removed the glasses prophet. Since power week last year, up to now, she has been testing herself. You can see prophet, no glasses, no more. No glasses, no more. What a mighty God. Yes, 
see. What a mighty God we say. Yes, I see. 15 years wearing glasses. 15 years wearing glasses. She took the word that was of your neighbor in this atmosphere. Wow. Then she, she just removed the glasses, went home like that. God is great here. Indeed, indeed. And just imagine if you had that problem, you'd be thinking, you'd be knowing exactly what God was doing for you. But because you don't have that problem, Aish, may more happen to you in the name of Jesus. Yes. Healing is easy, prophet. Healing is easy. Last week, prophet, after service, you took your time to greet everyone that was here. And as you were moving around, you met with these two boys. They had a desire to just meet you, prophet. And they asked their mother for permission. And when you met them, you just greeted them just like that. And you went your way. Prophet, after the service, when they reached their house, it is the young boys. They had their condition. They had eczema since they were born. They had eczema and the mother is saying, we were trying to treat it and nothing was happening. They tried every cream. They tried every medicine that they can apply. Nothing was happening. But because you greeted the boys, and when they arrived at home, it is the boys that say, Mama, what is happening with our hands? It's drying up. It's drying up. Prophet, there is no more eczema. There is Man, no more eczema. There is no more eczema. There is nothing there, Prophet. Mm. Prophet, as if it's not enough. Prophet, after they are celebrating this, they got into the week. It's the teacher that called the parent, because these boys are average students. They are struggling, they are not there, they are not there. But the teacher had to call the parents and say, what's happening with the boys? Because they are totalizing every exam. They are totalizing. They are totalizing. What's he to say? What's he to say? Come, Mario. Fifty out of fifty, prophet. Fifty out of fifty. They are totalizing. They are no longer average. They are no longer average. What's he to say? Come, come on, everybody. See what's he to say? Come. Prophet, prophet, there is a running Jesus. over. There is a running over for this family, prophet. From nowhere, prophet. Ah, there is a running over. There is a running over. Miracles upon miracles, prophet, for this family. The uncle from nowhere called the mother and said, Can you allow me to pay school fees for the boys for the whole year? Yeah. Yeah. What's the interest of Everybody say. What's the eater? Come on! What's the eater? 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 What's the Yes. A lot is happening, Prophet. Prophet, a lot is happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Last week, sir, <laughs> you said, are you the one or we should look for another one? <laughs> she came and she was looking for $80 so that they can do some other deal that they wanted to do. They just needed $80. And what she had was just $20. And you came, Prophet, 
you looked straight at her. You just looked straight at her. And she was holding her, her raising her hands like that. And immediately, something entered herself. Something entered her. She did not know until she got home. When she got home, trying to remove things from the handbag to just put them where they normally belong, she realized, Prophet, that there is $80. That was, ah! Happening, prophet. Praise the Lord. Fire on the altar, prophet. Fire, Fire on, on the, the altar. altar. <laughs> prophet, yes. my sister here came for the fire on the altar service, and she was raising the picture of her sister's son. She was, she's in a, the, the man is in America, and he had a desire to play to play professional football, and he was, she was just raising the the phone like this, and you came and you touched the phone. You touch the picture on the phone, man of God. And the man is signed. Now he's playing for Michigan Stars in America. That's the picture, man of God. Yeah. A lot is happening. A lot is happening. Jesus. Prophet. He and has done it again. Prophet. Indeed, Prophet. A God of is, Major. A lot is God of Spirit Embers. God of the Good News World. Prophet. Mm -hmm. The man standing beside me came from Kenya last year for the crossover into this year. Mm -hmm. So when he came, man of God, he did not have enough money that he was left with $11 in his pocket and he had no plan how he was going back to Kenya. He was basically stranded, man of God. And you came to him, located him, and you prophesied to him. You say you are greater than you think, man of God. You told him that he is greater than you think. All of a sudden, man of God, there was favor that followed him. From that day, he bumped into another man and offered to pay three days in the hotel and also for the flight for him to go back to Kenya, man of God. You was left with eleven dollars. Come on.
prophet 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 testimony is everywhere prophet this one is just requesting for grace he said prophet allow me for me to just say it he is already holding the mic prophet <laughs> thank you prophet thank you prophet <laughs> yes so last time i came here i was testifying that one of my uh, my shops had almost gotten engulfed with fire and prophet that time you said because you are under me and you're my son, I speak more shops to you. And in fact, I want you to own buildings. Last week, Wednesday, I was coming from my son's consultation at school. I just saw this beautiful place. I was like, what is going on here? When did they build this place? I turned the car around, got into that place, started talking to these guys. They told me, you know what? There's only one shop that is left because someone had forfeited their payments. And they wanted a tenant. And prophet, I negotiated with these guys. Talked to them. I didn't have any money. But I said, by the grace that is upon my father. And we are in the season of fire on the altar. This is mine. Right now, as we are speaking, prophet, I now own that shop. Thank you so much, and may more happen for you I receive. in Jesus' mighty name. I receive. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Viewers all over the world, we love you so very much, and we are still here. Don't go anywhere. Church is not yet done. Because every time when something is pushed, we have to celebrate God for what he has done. Sometimes your miracle is locked in in that praise you fail to get involved in before you get out. So we finish everything with praise. And it's very, very important. Oh, Lolo. But before, <laughs> but before we do that, I was asking them, they said, God has given us a song that is bigger than Oh, Lolo. I said, mm, even me as a prophet, I doubt it. So we'll do Oh, Lolo for now. This song that is bigger than Hololof, we stop for now. Mm -hmm. I want to appreciate the presence of His Royal Highness, Prince Lindani of Eswatini is here. Thank you so very much for coming here and of course your entourage and your, the people that are with you. And Princess is here as well somewhere. And thank you so very much. And my son, Pastor Tony, is here. The prophet of Eswati. Hmm. Whatever is happening there, things are happening. I thank you so much, Your Royal Highness. We appreciate you for taking your time to be with us and to worship with us. Because that's exactly what we need. Because the Bible says, kings will surrender their thrones and their crowns to the king of kings. So it is good to see the royals worshipping the ultimate royal. Because the ultimate royal created every throne. And to acknowledge that is the greatest service to God. Thank you so very, very, very much. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. Now, are we going to stand up and just be in a mood of joy? We are not going to go off live. Because last week, people were complaining. We were supposed to be in. Is, do you have feet? Uh -huh. That's the idea. If your neighbor is still sitting down, whoop them. Slap them on the face. 
for this minute is not a sin. <laughs> Let's go. Are you ready, somebody? Yeah. Take your name and say, Holo Lo. Say that community. Take your name and say, Holo Lo.
worshipped him way back. Remember the days of Ebenezer. Yes. Maybe the young man you did not know was in that team was Baga. So Baga is here. Come up. Make, uh, make some joyful noise for the Lord. Yes, I am. And then I'm happy to be here. And I want to thank our father, Prophet Hubert Angel, for everything. Uh, in, in 2013, when I was, uh, I still remember, was it Sheraton? Prophet came to me and said, I see a star. But now, look at me, I'm a star. I'm a star. I am a star. <laughs> so, I want to sing a song with all of you and it. To all those who know it, let's go. Man selector. Pack, we rock. E, si we go and go. Yeah. Si we go and go, chema. Who pay you pound or emma? Kutarava no bodisema. But you don't know who get emma. Who was who would say a ma? Mama not did watch in the pirana. She now what can get you go fatana. Bata Kakundikana. Why the correct and the chapatana? That far of a new and go chana. Usa promise of me, I would say about chana. Kana Zika Oma, Tinona Mata, Yarara Guchema, Iwe Yarara Guchema, Dati Yarara Guchema, Iwe Yarara Guchema, Yarara, 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 Yarara Guchema, Yarara, 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 Wando <laughs> Let's go. 
dati nyarara kuchema eh iwe nyarara kuchema eh iwe nyarara kuchema nyarara eh nyarara 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 kuchema nyarara 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 kuchema thank you ladies and gentlemen Thank you, thank you very Jesus. much. Are you there, somebody? Let's say it for Baga. I want to speak in tongues and say, In a land she does wrong, you in the Gakura and didn't give up. Panongo Zoti, Pane Panongo Zoti, Mira, Mira, Mira. Wait, 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 wait. Pane pano zote ukata bia pa makosi. Ndopa ndata iwa tozo itam next week. Papi swipe hapo. Alright guys. So next week we are gonna. In fact we are gonna have a youth meeting. And. Listen. And I want to show you. Baga is a member of this church. So it's not some kind of someone outside there. So at the same time. People see me with some musicians. Most musicians you see me with. They started here and ended up there. Are you getting this? But this guy grew up here in the worship team with the first one that was here, the first team that was in this country. Now, hear this. Hear this. Raise your heads. Paukata beer by my cost much. Oh, we just pray for that part of the song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, no, no. Don't go anywhere, bugger. You, you sing that one. Let out. Wait, let out, let out in a few minutes. Now, listen to this. The church, when we say songs of the world, and we say secular songs, you need to understand those words. And you need to understand the positioning in a service where you can sing this and you sing that. We are not saying all songs are evil. We are saying the time you see, if we are going to be dancing Museve here, imagine Jesus standing next to you singing that song. He might not dance. Maybe he might dance. Just imagine him. So we can tell, no, 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 this is not the time to put this song. We put it, this song here. We put this song there. That's why we select times where we get into this worship, where we enjoy God, just us. There are songs where we worship God. There are songs where we praise God. There are then songs where we say to God, you know what? We just want to enjoy our God ourselves. Just, just celebrate ourselves. Then there are songs we say, we want to just say we are happy we belong to him. That has nothing to do with him. It's everything to do with us singing a song that say, I am glad I belong to Jesus. Jesus is like, okay, they are glad they belong to me. It's nothing to do with worshiping him. It's just praising but in a different form. So times where we put these songs, very, very important. There is a song I used to like and still like. There's, you know when we started this, you know when we started this, it was only Mudiwa. Remember those days? And there are some classics is no longer singing out there. We, we, we still have them. We, we still have purpose for them in church. He's now a businessman, big businessman, and doing a lot of things, but he still is in church. Very, very important. Very, very important. Very, very. I don't know. Anuacho Tisu, Chaputika, all these things. You still remember? We are taking back Spirit Embers to the beginning of it, to the Genesis, and we take it to over the Genesis, over the bar. Let's dance. Put on your dancing shoes. Don't be jealous now. You're already singing it. Dai tamari, ini di namari, tena 
Thank you, thank you. Media. Jesus. Thank you. Dance the Imba and Najo Tisu. Then you play Daita Man. Please, it's your fault. It's your fault. Everybody. It's your fault. 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 Regatimati,